are you? My name is Mae Stone. I'm the CEO of Airbus Corporation. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry I hacked your company last year. Sonia. I was a different person. I can fix everything. Please, just give me a chance to show that I've changed. Sonia, it's all right. Seriously? Yes, we all make mistakes. After all, we're only humans, right? Right. I'd actually like to offer you a job. Really? Sure. I mean, doing what exactly? I'd like you to hack into the system of a few of my competitors. I'm sorry, I, I don't really do that kind of thing anymore. That's what I'll need from you if you don't want the FBI to know that you hacked into my system. And theirs. Do we understand each other? All right, I'll do it. Excellent. Somehow I knew this would be an opportunity you just couldn't refuse. Someone will be in touch with further details. Good day, Miss Rain. Are you fully aware, child, that you not only violated Euclidean law when you brutally murdered Brigadier Steele, but also betrayed our Euclidean religion by wearing the possession of your victim, forever corrupting the energy in that suit? Answer me! Yes, I am aware. And are you also aware that your surviving relatives will each receive 10 years for your crimes? What? No, no you can't. My sister hasn't lived a quarter of her life. You, you Silence. Silence. Councilman, indeed Shani has committed the most heinous act imaginable and blasphemed our religion, yet her family remains innocent. In fact, Shani's sister Shard is set to finish first in our class at the IDA. We are aware, but willfully disregarding Euclidean laws holds grave consequences. Affirmative, but there is an exception to Penal Code 2165, Section 4. Clause 761 states that the 10-year penalty does not apply to family members that have demonstrated great or potentially great contributions to society. Councilman, I can attest to Shard's potential. She is setting an amazing example for her peers, and she has plans to correct injustices here in Euclid 6 and reform in the IDA. One as wise and upstanding as her should not have to pay for her sister's sins. The council has heard your agent nexus and will grant an exception for Shawnee's only living relative, Shard. Shawnee, you are hereby sentenced to death. Execution will be in 21 days. Within that time, you will assist the IDA with whatever they need. In homage to the late Brigadier Steele, so it shall be. So you can teleport and multiply? <laughs> that is so cool! Yep. <laughs> what about you? Well, I can, you know, do this. Wow! I wish I had that power. 
I could listen to my brother's conversations. <laughs> no way. But come on, Buddha girl, your powers are amazing. You could be anywhere in a flash. And you're faster than me. True. <laughs> you know, there's something I want to show you. Ladies, ladies, what is this? You're having a girls' night out without me? Well, that's not very nice. Not very nice at all. Besides, haven't you two got a city to save? <laughs> Isn't this the woman that sent us the bomb? Yeah, she's crazy, but with a weird sense of humor. Oh, trust me, I've experienced weirder. Hora! It's been a while. Why, yes, Jade, it certainly has. Speaking of weird... Okay, I'll put Cora out, and you take her someplace where she'll stay out. Got it. Let's grab a cocktail after we... Annihilate these two. After you. Oh, I thank you. Now, ladies, where were we? Oh, yes, that's right. I remember. You are about to burn. Oh, I see. You want me all to yourself. All you can do is ask. In your dreams. No, wait! You can't leave me here! No! Come out, come out, wherever you are. Thanks, Nova. Seems like she's been keeping you busy. Yeah. It's like she's gotten stronger since the last time I fought her. Oh, no. I don't get her deal. Why is she so angry and destructive? Who knows? Well, what if we do figure it out, maybe it'll mean dealing with one less villain. Yeah. So, for now, I have a plan. Hey Jade, over here! What's the matter? You look like you've seen a ghost. Huh? Council made the right decision by having me tag along? No, but we'll just make the best of it. You can help me track down Artemis and Styx. How would I do that? I'll cloak you as someone else, and that'll expose her location and Styx. Computer, set location for Earth. Buckle up, Shani. We're entering hyperdrive. But I don't have a secure strap. Oh. Hello, Nova. Agent Darius here. 
I hope that this message finds you well and that you're in good health. I want to try to make this brief as there is not much time. While I was on an undercover operation on one of the most hostile planets of your galaxy, I've uncovered a plot that would mean the enslavement of the entire universe. That being said, myself and a group of IDA agents have been reassigned to a remote planet in the Sigma Quadrant, which is light years away from your planet. To make a long story short, I don't know when I'll see you again or if I'll see you again, such as it is with threats like this. And by the time you have received this message, I will be well on my way to my new home. Until I can find a stable signal to get in contact with you directly, my communication with you will be through these hollow messages. And if necessary, Nexus will teach you how to send one back. Or well, at least I hope that you send one back. I would like to know how you're doing. I'm very proud of you, Nova. Sonia Rain. You have definitely become the hero that your world needs and deserves. Come to think of it, if Professor Thaddeus was still alive, he was the one that created your nanotech biosuit, he would probably... <laughs> he would probably say, what in the gods of Euclid 6 are you doing with my suit? <laughs> Take care, Sony Rain. And may the gods of Euclid 6 protect you.